All right, everyone. I just got done finishing off the first part of this video. Um, I figure I might as well just jump literally right into the second part. Um, just for you know continuity purposes. Um, now we just created a reference plane. We just made a hemisphere, so that all should not be new to you. Um, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to start sketching out the injectors, the actual injector bodies. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to create a sketch on this new plane, this offset plane you just created. Now, if you get out your center line tool and you do a simple sketch out real fast, you'll notice something kind of funny, or at least it's funny to you. It really makes a lot of sense when you get when you get down to starting to use it. Um, that is that in geometric views, typically in CAD programs, these CAD programs lack what's known as parallax. It's the horizon effect. Essentially, this plane is offset an inch by by distance from our model. But our model doesn't appear to be any smaller. This line is 10 inches, and it appears to fit perfectly with the model that we created as five inch with a five inch radius. Um, so again, it, it takes getting used to, but these CAD programs, believe it or not, do attempt to make your life somewhat easier, even even if they are sometimes finicky and downright temperamental. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a half inch center line. We're then going to take a circle tool. We're going to punch out a circle that's exactly half an inch in diameter. And then we're going to delete that and exit the sketch. Now, if you remember during my very early videos on SOLIDWORKS, better known as the ones before the ones I uploaded back in March, I was commonly ranting about the difference between SOLIDWORKS and Google SketchUp. And I gave a few examples of curve handling and whatnot, but this is one of the areas where it becomes painfully apparent, the differences. And I mean painfully apparent in that if you use SketchUp, you will regret it. So we selected the sketch. We're going to extrude the boss. But then this happens. Our boss appears to go through our model. Now if we go ahead and go like that, you'll see, oh, no good. You know, obviously it just punched a solid, solid cylinder face right through. However, by using the options right here, you can see we, we can select up to surface. And that will shape our contour to the intersection angle of the face. So that then when you click OK, it will mold it to the contour of the face it's intersecting. And you have no, no bleed through, no pass through. Now in that same mold, what we're going to do is we're going to make another sketch. Right on the same. Right on top of the same circle. But this one we're going to size about we're going to size it so that way we get we get a seven eighths inch inner circle that is one inch wide outer diameter seven eighths inch inner diameter 16th inch thick wall. 
then we're gonna go extrude a cut. We're gonna go back to surface and we're gonna cut through the entire model this time. So now we have a nice clean drill hole through. Um, Now, as I've showed you before in previous videos, you can pretty much expect what's coming next. The good old circular pattern. And instead of creating eight faces this time, well, we'll go over to 16. So you see in six minutes of video, you went from making a, a hemisphere, essentially a helmet, to creating this. Now, in the actual model that I created a while ago, that kind of gave me the idea to do this, I created a lot more faces, I mean, a lot more injectors, did a lot more stuff, but this demonstrates the core concepts. Um, there's not a whole lot you need to know after this, other than that, Okay. So now the circular pattern of that. So what was I saying? Um again this demonstrates the core concepts. Um, obviously, things can get more difficult from here. Things can get more complex from here. Um, but as, as I've just showed you, the extrusion capabilities of SolidWorks are quite complex. They are capable of dealing with a number of things that you wouldn't typically expect. Um, and these versatile tools, I mean, well, use them to your advantage. Um, all right, in the next video, I believe I'm going to start showing you rendering, and I say I believe so because I kind of planned out all these videos in advance. So, once again, you know where to find the files. Um, the other video will be put, will be filmed at least shortly. All right, catch you later, guys.